Sloan. Hi, Wendy. Oh, it's so good to see you. Just wish it was under better circumstances. Yeah, me too. It's your stepmom. She's dead. Not much has changed around here, has it? Oh my gosh, Sloan? I'm sorry about your mom. Yeah. That's tragic. You know, you don't have to do this alone, Sloan. Just say the word and I'll be there tomorrow. I think it just has to be me and David. You know, prodigal daughter, loyal son. What matters is you're back now. The will sort of states that half of the estate will be put into trust for the youngest heir. What? I'm the winner! <laughs> no, there's no way. I'm the oldest, I'm taking over the firm, I get the biggest cut. You just care about how much money you're getting? Your mother is dead, so have a little bit of respect, okay? Sorry, should you be here? Like, is this not a family thing? Wendy is family. No, Wendy's the help. Don't worry about Blake and Lexi. They're not angels. Blake! They're family. <laughs> Watch yourself, Sloan. You're gonna get yourself killed. What, you think because your evil step siblings are greedy, one of them kill your stepmom? No. There's something off about the whole thing. <laughs> Last thing David or I want to see are any more accidents. Lexi! These accidents are starting to look pretty convenient, aren't they? What do you mean? Oh, I don't know, David. Whose inheritance goes up now that Lexi's dead? You don't seriously think I had something to do with Lexi's death? Breathe. Breathe. I chased after him through the woods, but I lost him. David! Unofficially, it looks like Blake got pretty liquored up before he tried to kill us all. It wasn't Blake. It was Wendy. I just wish I could take credit for all of it. Don't fight it. Your family owes me, and I want what's mine. You were supposed to be my sister. You were supposed to be here with me.